We are going to have some fun in this tutorial to play around with Firefox bookmark. Very simple, very easy. Um, you can add a tag there to make make it even more organized than just using a folder system. And I'm going to show you how. Now you see that little little golden star here. Um, and compare this one at Golden Star and this one at Golden Star. What that really means is they bookmark it already. Let me remove that. When you remove that, the Golden Star is gone. So they're no longer in my bookmark. I'm just going to start from the beginning and let you see how it works. Just go to your page, one of the favorite pages you want to bookmark. The first thing you want to do, click on that, that's it. And you bookmark the page already. Very simple, very efficient. Now, if you want to be a little more organized, you click the same Golden Star again and you will see the page come up and say okay where you want to save it now that default they will say and sort of bookmark you don't quite want that that's just everything just power up together um, good thing is I create a couple folder already like this one open source application you click on that and now I'm going to add some tagging here additional label to identify this bookmark now this is a Kodak page it's a media player it's open source Click done and that's it. And that's all you have to do. Now go to the next page and we put the same thing here. This time I want to do a little thing a little different. You go to here and sort of bookmark. Now I don't quite want to put down the open source applications. In this example, I want to create a folder. So click the down arrow and you see they open up more windows here. Now I want to create a folder under open source application and I call that media player enter. Let me put down some Kodak open source. Now remember those keywords I typed it before already. So Firefox we select them um, from the database. Okay you type those already. Let's put it down here. Now additional video media and free. Done. Okay and then try it again. One time is going to start, second time, and put that under. Now, you see, I have two separate folders now. I have a media player and open source applications. I'm going to media player, Kodak, free, um, media player. So now, what is next? What is so special about it? I still go to bookmark and go to applications and media player, and then I still see all my uh, bookmark here. So what is so special about this one here? Let me show you. Say we open up a new windows here. I want to search a bookmark. Usually, you would just go to bookmark and do all the good stuff, right? In Firefox, you search here. Let's bring up the keyword free. Now, see the tagging here, and it goes in start. That told me that that's my bookmark. That's not just the history, just my bookmark that I, I previously go to before. Then I can select my website a lot faster that way. And open source. Now you see they filter out all the other applications here and then just show you anything with open or open source as my bookmark. Pretty efficient, right? Not only that, you can also play around with your bookmark organizer here. You organize your bookmark. Here we go. This is all the different folder and different bookmark that we have before. Example one, two. Now on each one, you can you can put a tag here. The dot com comma, and you can add anything additional. You want to put VLC as a keyword. You can do that too. Now, just play around with the tag and the keyword and descriptions. This will help you to organize your bookmark um, to search it faster, and you can see how efficient that can be when you come into location bar. Now, I go to VLC. Just go straight to my bookmark. At least all my bookmark with the VLC keyword there. So next time when you search on a certain website, um, they will bring you a lot faster. That's a combination of the power of using folder and tagging system. Good luck and enjoy and have fun with it.